Hello Gemini, I'm Karma. Welcome to my channel, Karma on Deck. This is your video for July 7th through the 13th. Tarot reading. Mercury retrograde is in full effect. I don't know about you, but I lost my wallet. Had to reorder all my cards. Peace talks with people from my past. Just... You know, really setting everything into alignment. Mercury retrograde does that. Also watch out for travel problems and fine print on your paperwork. Don't sign any contracts unless you do due diligence. All right, kids, here we go. Ooh, first thing that comes up is money, four of coins. With, um, you just gather and resetting your money. You've been spending a little more than you usually do, so you're just putting that back in alignment. You have the Page of Cups here, which is a new love or a new relationship and uh, beginning something new. You have a Six of Swords, so life has taken a little turn for you to where you're getting a pattern. You're getting where things are feeling easier. Whatever was over your head has kind of broke a little bit and has really set it up. You have the Emperor. You like to operate independently and you really uh, make decisions independently. And this is telling you this is time for you to take leadership in your life and direction. You have the two of wands. That means that you're in between two individuals or two ideas or two modalities. This is you possibly being between a couple or best two best friends and you're the one hearing both sides of a story. Or you have a couple that are friends and they're going through it and talking to you. Or this might possibly be you sitting between two two decisions of equal measure and which direction you think you're going to take. The star card is right in front of you as well as the fate. This has something to do with your spiritual alignment and what you're going to do next. Everything hinges on your alignment and your spirituality and what's happening. You know how they say it, as above, so below. So you're really looking to match your 3D life with your um, 5D, with your spiritual life. You're trying to get those into alignment so they start looking more like each other. You know, you don't want to have your spiritual path and then go to work. Or you don't want to, you know, have your work be your spiritual path and have your relationships fucked up. You want all of them to kind of come into that spiritual alignment so you feel you still feel a little off kilter but you want that to happen you do have the queen of swords which is something you've walked away from or left behind that's you saying you know pretty much um i see this isn't growing i see this isn't being what i want it to it's like watering a dead tree seven of swords is letting go of things and then you have busy like your path this week is going to be busy speed um lots of one thing after another it's going to be like dropping one thing picking up another it's going to be you know being handed your next task before you're completely finished with the other and the ten of coins is all about decision making for you so this is where you know you utilize mercury retrograde as the beast that it is for bringing you awareness and giving you insight because during this period there's miscommunications and awkwardness emotions come up out of nowhere um, exes come out of the woodwork from the past and maybe not to reconnect but definitely to to talk renegotiate and I always say you know when things come up you either heal it or kill it and I don't mean literally I just mean you know if there's a thing that comes up it's for an awareness is it still triggering you is it something you've worked through is there pain behind it or love or are you ready to put it aside like you know your mom you haven't talked to her in two years and now you're you're back on a grind so um ten of coins is about that decision making time mercury retrograde is all about awareness so um, use that opportunity to see how far you've grown and whether you even want to interact with people from the past on the same level or maybe it's just an awareness for you to see where you've been and what you used to choose so that's your reading for this week. I am going to continue on and do a pull from the Divination of the Ancients. And this is all about um, augmenting the reading, right? Let me show a little bit. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, you know where to do it, karmaondeck.com. You can also follow all my links at the banner and find me on social media or donate through PayPal to keep your girl coming back. Please subscribe, stick around, share, share, share. So I get to my 1,000. We've got a goal there. And that's the game changer for me. So if you don't want to donate, if you could share, that'd be great. Leave me a comment and let me know how you feel about your reading and where you are in the world. Tea Leaves is your card where it says Foresight. You ready? So it says the tea leaves card brings you reminders of the old ways of soothsayers who, in a time imbued with magic and mystery, could capture a glimpse of the future in shapes that formed in one's cup. 
Tis the gypsy way. Now it's the time for you to open your eyes and heart and explore your ancient bloodlines. Whether or not you have Romany blood, acknowledge the sacred work of your ancestors who will assist you from the spirit realm. Using foresight and inner knowing, you will be able to read clearly the messages and shapes of what's to come. So the incantation says, The truths presented to me in the tea, the old ways now help me to finally see. With eyes wide open, now I begin to understand, resolved and healed, my time to rise at hand. So there is a lot of life change coming up for you, which is good. You've been feeling restless. You've been wanting a change. So as you move forward, the foresight card is telling you that you're going to see signs of what your path has indicated, and you'll be able to use those signposts for guidance. So you're never without. It's always present for you. Anyways, I'm Karma. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week.